That sky above me isn't a sky, it's a thick, pressured glass, and behind it is deep space. I grew up inside an O'Neill cylinder, 32 kilometers end to end, about four across. We don't have a horizon. Our valley climbs the wall, and if you look up, you'll see another valley hanging over your head. Those aren't upside down people, that's spin doing the gravity for us. Watch the light. Our sunset isn't the planet turning, we steer it. Giant mirrors outside tilt, and the day glides across the farms like a slow wave. When we park the mirrors, night snaps on, and the stars flood the window. Getting around is easy. The maglev runs along the axis. Near the center, you float for a breath, then the radial lift drops you back to 1G. On weekends, we take a skiff out on the lake, and the support pylons stride over the water all the way to the spine. Kids race ribbon gliders in Micro-G, where the mist hangs like a cloud that forgot how to fall. Yes, the windows are safe. They're layered deep with ribs every few meters, and little repair drones patch hairline cracks before you even notice. Freight slides through pressure locks in the hull. Cities tuck in under the window. Farms stitch the valley green. If this feels unreal, that's only because you're seeing it for the first time. In my timeline, this is normal. Stay for the last shot, I'll stand under the window, and you'll watch an entire world curve up into the sky. If you want a part two, I'll take you outside for a trip around the cylinder.